Hello everyone and welcome back to our little gold mine operation here in Haines, Alaska. We are back to hunt for some more gold and see what uh, what kind of riches we can find. And for some reason this bucket's in the water. Um, this is the area where the, we set up the hog pan last time. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit of digging to try to clear this out. We're down to what qualifies as the bedrock in this area um, that I've dug out. I could continue shoveling and doing more, but frankly it's a, it's a much bigger job than it looks. This took... A lot of clean outs and a lot of shoveling, uh, and I don't really want to do that anymore. So I kind of want to do some shopping today and see if we can get ourselves a bigger shovel. Uh, preferably one that comes with, uh, you know, hydraulics and a, and a motor and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to try and get a better cleanup today so that we can try to uh, try to get more gold. Or not a better cleanup, but a better setup today so we can try to clean out more gold when we... Uh, uh, when we continue our operation. Now there is this little, uh, this little flashing thing that pops up here in the corner. Uh, it says like story. Whenever you get close to a story segment that you can pick up, and it looks like that's what this is here. So it's kind of hiding by the fence. Uh, I think there was one actually at the very start of the game that I missed. And apparently, when you grab these things, you, and you improve your sale price and stuff. You found a new part of the story. Um, check out the end of the journal to read it. So if we go into our journal, so in the journal we have this little tab here now for stories. And when we go there, we can see there's uh, there's stuff on here. Two hundred and thirty. How many pages are there here? Oh, yeah. Okay, Old Arnold's Parcel. I've just arrived. The neighborhood seems quiet and peaceful. Many of the Old Arnold Parcels start my gold mining journey. Or gold miner journey, rather. I hope we'll get well. I feel like this was maybe written in a different language and then translated. I've never realized how hard that job can be. Using machinery isn't the easy, uh, is the easy part, but all this cleaning and maintenance is driving me crazy. Um, so as it turns out, you know, we don't have, uh, we don't have much by way of stories here. These ones are all, all locked. Uh, and it looks like there's something here for a radio station. So it's not showing any pictures here. I thought it would actually have like an image or something. But uh, nevertheless, um, I guess as we as we collect up these items, we get like a 1% savings in uh, uh, at the gas station and I think also in the parts store and stuff. So probably worth collecting those up so we can save a little bit extra money. Uh, what I wanted to do was go into the tent and use the tablet here to place an order to kind of pick up some of the equipment that we're going to need to change away from uh, from all this hand panning. Uh, but all these things in here need to be unlocked, and there is a cost for that. So to get the equipment store, for example, I'm going to have to spend $20,000. That's not something I really want to do. Um, I do have 1,333 grams of gold that I've mined out of the ground. Uh, so that's going to give us a decent chunk of change that we can spend in town once we get this uh, converted to a bar and then sold off at the bank, of course. But I don't really want to spend 20000 on just unlocking something right now when we have a whole bunch of stuff to buy. So we're going to need to get the mobile wash plant so that we, uh, we can you know, clean a little bit more a little more dirt than what we've been doing with, uh, with a little hog pan and a shovel. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to need something to dig with as well. So we're going to need some sort of an excavator to be able to handle that. And frankly, I hate panning for gold. It's, um, it's kind of a really tedious part of the process. Each bucket takes something like four pans to clean out, and you got to pick out all the individual pieces of gold. And I suspect we're probably missing some of the gold that way, also. I, I don't know whether the game really works that way, but it, I, I feel like it would be a little bit easier for us to, I don't know, miss some of the gold doing it by hand. So hopefully we can get a system going with that. I'd like to get the wave table today. Uh, that's going to take a power generator because, of course, it needs power to operate. Uh, we already have a water pump, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to need the. Uh, the mobile wash plant, which is going to cost us a good chunk of money. All right, so here we are at the store for all the all things mach machinery like. Uh, let's get out of here. Stephen Batty Heavy Equipment Store. So this is where we're going to buy all of our fancy gold mining equipment. So uh, there's uh, not much we're going to get in here today, but there is an excavator that we need. Uh, I think this is the larger of the two excavators. That's the big excavator, sixty-nine thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars. I think we're only going to have about forty thousand to work with. 16,000 for the small excavator. So, definitely this will be the one we'll end up getting. It's going to be something that's at least reasonably in my price range. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get away without having to get a loan. It'll sort of depend on how much we can sell this gold for that I've already mined out of the ground. Um, now, I did make a point of uh, not choosing the nuggets previously when uh, when they gave me the option to get uh, get nugget discovery. I've since changed my mind because we were I was shoveling so much dirt and getting such slow gold capture, I decided to include the nuggets as well to try to speed up the process a little bit. Alright, looks like we have another part of a story here somewhere, too. So, we have to look around for a piece of paper on the ground. It could be like... Oh, there it is. It's underneath the bench over here. Found it! Found a new part of the story. Alright, so... 
Um, so that'll help a little bit as well. Let's second check and see how much it's going to cost us to convert this gold. So I have 1,333 grams. <laughs> I have enough money to do 114 grams. That's not great. I'm going to have to do this probably in a couple of trips. Um, so I'm going to convert these to, to a bar. We'll sell it at the bank. Come back to convert more. And then we'll just go ahead and see what happens. I was exploring here and I found another part of the story. Right down here underneath this dumpster. I have the, the gold smelting. I can only do 567 gram bars. So I figured, well, it's, uh, well, we're working on the smelting. I can at least set aside all the things I intend to purchase. And then when I come back to the store, it's just a simple matter of buying them. There is all kinds of cool stuff in here, like light, lighting systems. And uh, this is a, a big fuel tank, I guess. Yeah, mobile fuel tank. It's going to cost 4,000 for that. It would be handy to have that around to fuel up our machinery. But I may not get it right away. Uh, the gold nuggets hater, again, very handy cleaning out the moss mats and stuff. But um, we're not going to have those with the mobile wash plant, so I won't need that anyway. These large pumps are for the larger plants, which I don't need. Also, uh, mobile water tank. I mean, we have a stream, so that should be fine. The magnetite trailer is an interesting one to get. Um, so we're going to try and separate the magnetite out of our gold, and then we can use that, it appears, for upgrades at the blacksmith, or we can just sell it directly to the factory, which is uh, kind of handy. Uh, mobile wash plant, $5,970. I actually thought it was going to cost a lot more than that. Um, so we're going to add that to our lists. Um, we want the magnetite separator, we're gonna, so we'll have to add that. The wave table is another $4,300. This is going to save me from having to, to individually pan the gold out, which is uh, kind of a big win for me. So I'm going to grab that. Uh, small diesel water pump. The mobile generator is only $325. We're going to grab one of those. That should be enough to power our system. Um, as I said, this doesn't require moss mats. We have a few buckets back at the uh, the camp already, so I, I don't think we're going to need any buckets. Um, I don't know so what size water does. I think this uses a small hose for the water, if I remember correctly. Um, the gold comes out on that side, and I don't remember where the water where the hose goes in, but um, I'm pretty sure it's the small hose we need. Um, so we're going to buy maybe uh, I don't know a couple of these. Um, we may need a water splitter. So that will let me run a larger hose, then split the water out to service the need that we have. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna need that yet. Hold on, maybe we just need like a hose connector kind of thing. Like this wouldn't allow me to extend the, the length that my hose can go out. So we'll get maybe a couple of these. Yeah, we'll get three of them just in case. I don't know how far we're gonna have to pump the water. It depends on where we sort of set up, set up shop. Uh, we are going to need uh, some plugs and stuff. Um, definitely, we'll need a couple of the low voltage power cables. I kind of want to make sure we have enough of this stuff just around that I don't really have to do a lot of, a lot of swapping. I'm going to get two of these also just in case. Um, let's see. Buckets and stuff we don't need so much right now. I think that's all we're going to need from here to be able to get this whole setup running. Um, what's the tally on this now? 13,000. That's actually not that bad. Um, I mean, all things considered. Please tell me that list is still there. Yes. Okay, good. So we can come back and order that when we're ready. Uh, I do still have to deal with the gold bars. I sold the one gold bar. Got like 4,000 in gold for selling it off. Uh, and then we just need to swap out the rest of them and we'll be able to uh, to come back here and do more shopping. Right, after everything was said and done, uh, selling all the gold, we had almost $44,000. I'm sorry, and that was, I think it was almost $47,000 worth. 46939 or something like that. Um, so I've completed the purchase and got it all loaded in the truck. And hopefully this is going to stay in for the whole trip. Uh, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful how I drive, I think, because... It is a little bit bumpy heading over to the uh, over to the parcel that we're working on. Uh, we just need to hook up now to the uh, the mobile wash plant here. If I can remember how to do that. Um, so you recall, we need to we're gonna have to back into this thing, and then I think we can just hit a button to to hitch it up. Oh, all right, that that, that posted. No, no, boy. Okay. <laughs> Speed kills, friends. Speed kills. Okay, so actually, it looks like it might already be in range. Um, how do I hook this thing up now? Maybe I actually just, maybe I have to do it by hand? I thought I actually just had to hit a button, but maybe not. Oh, there we go. How I moved that by hand, I don't know, because that thing actually looks pretty heavy, but whatever. Um, so we have everything we need from the store here, I think. Uh, we do need to stop at the, uh, oops, big heavy machine sales. Oh my gosh, I gotta fix my camera here. All right, that's better. Okay, so we do have to stop over here at the machine shop and pick ourselves up an excavator because without that, we're not going to be putting any dirt through this system. Frankly, I'm not doing it by shovel. That'd be awful. 
It's bad enough panning it all by hand. Uh, I forgot to put the brake on. That's probably an important thing to do. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get the excavator that's over here, just the smaller one. We can't afford the bigger one right now. Uh, we have $33,000 to work with, but uh, I do still have to pay for the gold that I got out of the ground. I have like a 30% fee or whatever for the gold, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, what do we have over here? So, paint shop, checkout, and transfer. Ooh, paint shop. Oh, neat. I feel like this might be new. Um, I don't know how much it costs to paint this thing, but... Oh, we go, look, we got country flags and stuff on there. User created ones too, so that's the, that's a neat thing they've added is we can we can get some like custom paint jobs. So I might play around with that later and see if we can do something custom for our truck. I think that'd be kind of handy. Uh, we'll check out over here. Sixteen thousand two eighty one. Thank you very much. Uh, your machinery is ready to transport. The machines have automatically been transported to a nearest storage space. You can move them to your claim from the transport window next to you. There's a limit to how many objects. Uh, for machine store, you can have on your claim at a time. So ours is set up right now, so we can only have a single a single machine on the claim, but that's okay because we only have the one anyway. You see, we have uh, machines on claim zero of one, but we can't upgrade it for a cost. So obviously, we don't want to do that. We'll take the excavator. We'll send that over to the Arnold parcel. Uh, that's going to cost, cost us $1,500. It'd be kind of handy sometimes if you can move it by, by yourself, but uh, obviously, that would take a lot of time anyway. So for $1,500, I'm going to call that a win. Got everything back here safe and sound, and I can see our big fancy new shovel is here ahead of us. So that's great. Um, I gotta figure out what we're gonna dig and set everything up still, ultimately. So, uh, the mobile wash plane and everything we're gonna put out here, actually, on the uh, the claim where we're gonna be digging. Um, this is the new the new patch of dirt we'll have to work with, because we can't bring the excavator over to that, uh, that little small area we were working in previously, and probably wouldn't want to anyway, I wouldn't think. Not enough dirt over there. But this is a fairly big area, as you can see. So where to start digging is kind of the next big question. It looks like for some of these areas where they've sort of dug down a little bit, it's possible that we might be closer to the pay layer if we're down there, uh, as opposed to on top of some of the hills and stuff. But there's really no telling where the gold is going to be in the ground exactly, because we haven't run any drill samples. I don't have a machine to do it myself. I think, though, there is an option through the little pad over here where we might be able to uh, to order up some drill samples. Yeah, so if I go into the old Glen Bank, for the Arnold parcel, I can come down here and get uh, 20 drills. It's going to cost me $15,000. Uh, I only have 15279 left. i got to be a little bit careful because I might end up going into the red here. Uh, what time of day is it? It's already in the afternoon, so I'm probably not going to get a cleanup and sale. So it may not be worth it at the moment, but $15,000 to do uh, 20 drill samples. I guess that's a thing we could do. I mean, I don't know how much it costs to actually just buy the equipment ourselves, but um, you know, that, I guess that's a thing. Um, let's get this stuff disconnected. Uh, let's wind the cable up here if we can. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move the pump over. I'll try to get it a little bit closer to the claim, and then I guess we'll just pick a spot and see what we can do to set up. Yeah, I got a location we're going to get all set up on now. Uh, I think I'm going to mine here where this little depression is and see what we can find here in terms of gold. I don't know how deep the bedrock will be right here, but hopefully it'll be within reach of our excavator. We'll clean all that out. We'll dump it into the mobile wash plant that I have set up up here. Uh, I do have it connected to power. And it's a good thing I got one of those fat cables because I definitely needed the fatter power cable for this thing. Uh, and I had two power cables for these, but what I didn't get was a power splitter. So while there's an output for two of the large cables, there's not... Uh, there's not an output for two of the smaller ones, so we'll just have to swap the uh, swap the electricity from the magnetite separator into the wash table when we're ready to use it. Um, so I guess that will work out fine. Um, we are going to need to fuel stuff up here, so I probably should uh, fill this thing up. This will need a little bit of fuel in there. We're going to need some of the water pump as well. The water pump I relocated from the river. Uh, yeah, I don't want to put fuel in the truck right now. Uh, I moved it up from the river a little bit so that we would have enough space to work with. So it's uh it's something like 42 meters or something from the from the river now. I put it up here on the hill, so it'll pump the water up to this, and then I think we have something like 100 meters on the other side worth of pressure. Um, so that should be fine. Oops, I probably should turn the engine off. There we go. All right, we'll get the pump fueled here. So now we have a good source of water. This thing seems to take a little bit more fuel than the uh, than the generator does. So maybe I'll leave the tank here. Uh, I did have a second. 
The second tank that I forgot to bring back to town to refill. So I should probably put that in the truck so I don't forget it again later. Uh, wherever I put it. I thought I was right here. Oh, I knocked it in the river. Oh, good job. That's not an environmental problem. No, no, it's fine. Uh, we are going to need these buckets, too. I kind of forgot about those. So we'll throw this in the truck so I can remember to do that later. And then I'll just grab the buckets. And we'll have to bring the excavator over to where we're actually planning to do the work. And we'll also need to run some of the thinner hose from um, from the, the pump here all the way up to where we actually need the water to do the work. Okay, there are a lot of controls in this thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to have to get familiar with it again. So I'm in operator mode right now. I guess we'll need to go into... There we go. Perfect. All right, so we're going to haul this over to where we set up our little, uh, our little gold operation here. This isn't the largest excavator, but it's going to be a significant improvement over the shovel we were using, which frankly was a terrible excavator. <laughs> I have a bit of an on placement here. I'm actually kind of like right on the edge of a, edge of a hill. <laughs> Hopefully this uh, this won't tip over though while I'm working because um, that would that would not be good. I feel like this is definitely gonna take a little bit of practice. This, I am sorely out of practice. I haven't done this in a really long time. Uh, all right, so I think we've got we've got the clearance we need to be able to dump this in here. Let's see what we can do to try to fill this thing up. Oh, I actually need to set up uh, hosing too. I haven't done that yet. So we're gonna need a couple of long hoses to be able to reach this thing. Um, Let's grab this. Go to the pump end first. All right, hose output is, uh, that's in. I assume these are automatically out? I don't know. Whatever, we'll connect it on here. Okay, I had just enough length of hose. It's literally stretched out in order to reach this thing. So I did uh, I did use two of these connector pieces as well as all the hose that I had. Uh, I probably could make this a little better if I put it in more of a straight line, I guess. All right, well, it's, uh, it's definitely Definitely stretched out to a, a degree that I was not really expecting, um, but hopefully this will be uh, still still sufficient. It's gonna it'll get us the water. That's that's all I really care about, I guess. It is starting to get dark. It's pretty late. It's like 10:30, uh, so I'm gonna go crash for the night, and then uh, we'll start digging in the morning when we have a little bit of daylight to work with. Okay, so we have our provision of rent, uh, provision of rent in money, $2,288, uh, that's not so bad. We processed 3.18 cubic meters of dirt, earning 176 gold yesterday, so uh, not too bad. I actually thought the, uh, the amount I was going to have to pay out was bigger than that, but I forgot I had sort of gathered it up over a span of a couple of days, so I, I kind of paid the fees for it along the way. Uh, so $2,288 we had to spend uh, out of our gold money, leaving us still with $12,991 in our pocket, which is significantly better than the 400 we started with. And we have all this fancy machinery, or 450 or whatever it was. Um, so this is all ready to go now. I have the water set up, and I just ran all the way over here without turning the pump on, because why would I want to do that? Uh, so we'll get our pump running, so we have a water supply over here that'll be needed for the wash plant. Uh, we'll have to get a generator running so the wash plant can go... Uh, where's my little pull start? Hopefully that is going to work. It's a little hard to tell. I have nothing turned on, so there's no... It's not showing any movement of water yet, but hopefully... Hopefully when we get all this going... Actually, does it show the water in there? Yeah, okay, so we've got the, the green water indicator there. We just need to look for the same green water indicator over here on our wash plant. I think it's within range, so it should be alright. Uh, and then when we're doing cleanup, we'll just have to swap the hose over, I guess. Uh, that does have water, so that's good. Uh, we're going to need power, so this will have to start up if I can find the on switch here. Oh, there it is over there. Okay. Okay, mobile generator is running, so we have power. Um, we need this thing to be on, so it's running. Okay, perfect. Now, I've, uh, I've got a bucket sitting here underneath the end of this thing. There used to be a little bit of the cheese in the game where you could... Uh, place a bucket at the end here and you gather magnetite from the stuff that was running out of the end of your wash plant. 
I don't know whether that still works or not, but I figure it's no harm in trying. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's jump the excavator. Trying to get our first uh, first scoops of dirt in here. All right, our first bucket of pay dirt is going, or first, first scoop of pay dirt around is going into our machine. Lucky you, we just found a big nugget. Our first scoop, we found a big nugget. 47, 47 grams worth, um, so not a huge amount, but uh, still nothing to scoff at. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get another scoop of dirt here. This is, this is gonna take a little bit of practice. I am sorely, sorely out of practice right now. Please don't dump it all over the ground. That went over the ground, I think. I don't know how much of that actually went in the system. <laughs> I'm gonna need to work on that. It's gonna take a lot of practice to get good at this again. Alright, first bucket on the wash plan is almost full. We're at like 99%. This is probably the last scoop that I'm gonna need, and that will get us... Get us at least one full bucket out of this. Um, as you can see when I go down here, that we've dug fairly deep down. Oops. Probably keep that break on there. We've dug fairly deep down into the hole, and you can see as we get down here, you can kind of clip to the ground. So the the the, uh, the bedrock is looking pretty deep here. I don't know that this excavator is even going to have enough range to reach it. Uh, but nevertheless, not a bad outcome, I guess. We got this uh, we got this done relatively quickly. Um, now I'm uh, I am definitely incompetent with this machine right now. Uh, so definitely going to require a lot of practice. But let's get out of here. We'll try cleaning this up. Don't fall in the hole, please. Probably looks deeper when we're down there, but from up here, not too bad. Um, all right, so our very first bucket is filled up now. Uh, we can try cleaning this out and seeing what we ended up with. Uh, first, I'm going to turn this machine off here. Okay, so we've got our bucket here. This is the concentrate. We're going to run this through the magnetite separator first, but that's going to require water. Uh, this bucket here, apparently this trick doesn't work anymore. So we'll just save that. Actually, I can put this bucket on here. We'll use this as our little rotating bucket to swamp around. Um, we are going to need water in order to run our machines over on this side. So let's wind this out. Uh, that plugs into first on here. All right, so this is a magnetite separator. It'll take all the, uh, the, the other heavy particles out of here that are not... Uh, actually, I should probably start this first. Start that. There we go. Then are not gold. It'll separate those out. And we'll end up with two buckets, one of which is going to have our gold concentrate in it. Uh, and one of it is, is going to have uh, magnetite. So I'm guessing this one here will be our gold. This will be our magnetite. Not a lot of magnetite in the soil. That's pretty good. All right. Sweet. All right. So we ended up with 3,216 grams of magnetite. That's in this bucket. It can stay there. We'll be able to use that bucket a few times. Uh, drop that off. We'll swap these around. Okay. Now, um... We are going to need water for our wash table, and this is going to save us all the effort we've been doing on the, the gold panning, which is just going to be amazing. All right, so that's got a flow of water now. Let's turn this on. Wait a minute. I don't have this thing plugged in. Oh, you know what? It looks like it might actually use the large cable. I thought it would take the small power cable, but let's... Uh... Yep, nope. Definitely takes the small one. Okay, so we're going to need the power cable off of here uh, to plug into this. Boom. All right, it's on the go. So we'll just have to do that every time we wash out for now. Um, the next time I'm in town, I can actually grab a uh, power splitter, and we'll see how that goes. I did get some gold nuggets and stuff while we were digging, too, which was pretty handy. See how much gold we get out of our very first bucket cleaned out from our mobile wash plant. White table's finished. 230 grams of gold out of our first bucket. So considering the, the buckets we were getting when we were digging over there with the shovel were something like 30 to 40 grams of gold, this one was over 200. We're already back at 751 grams of gold. I don't have a loan with the bank, which is pretty awesome. So everything we're, we're digging right now is profit. And since this claim is free, aside from the gold share we have to provide to the claim owner, I'd say we're in the money. Uh, we're just going to keep continuing digging here. We'll pile some more gold through this squash plant, and then we'll get to the point where we can upgrade to, to some other machinery. It's probably not worth swapping to uh, a, a fixed-in-place gold plant until we actually get a front-end loader. Uh, and like dump trucks and that sort of thing. We'll just stick with the excavator and the mobile wash plant and hopefully we'll turn a decent profit. So finally we're away from digging with a shovel in the dirt. Uh, we have a significantly bigger shovel now, I guess. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to check out the video. We'll definitely be back with some more Gold Rush. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.